I think you guys are really gonna like this one. This is a really, really nice surprise. This channel is about So amazing, everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. <laughs> and if this is your first time visiting, I thank you for coming over here, but do me a favor, go over to my channel and I want you to check it out in its entirety. What you do is click on playlists, see all these different topics right here. These topics are all the different things that I do on this channel, which is why I call it a variety channel. Get an idea of what my channel is about in its entirety, okay? Please do that for me. You will be helping the channel algorithm but you also would be helping yourself by getting an idea of what all this channel entails once you do like that and you want to subscribe double check and make sure that this bell notification is set to all notifications all right appreciate you guys for that all right what is going on folks and folk dramas yes it's me ty smith modern renaissance man you guys probably already seen the intro to this video so i'm not going to tell y'all what y'all need to be doing you should already know it by now but i have to say guys i am excited because I have a very, very special guest that is coming on to my show today. I've been doing this for about four years now, and I'm finally able to get this guest to come on the show. Can y'all take a wow guess who it is? Let's see if y'all can guess who it is by their voice. So let me have them just say hello to you guys, and let's see if you guys can figure out who it is. So uh, guest, go ahead and say something to the people. Hello, people. I mean, I thought she was gonna say more than that, but I guess that's it. That's all y'all gonna get. So for about a good three seconds here while I'm running my mouth, I figure y'all will probably try to guess who it is. Can y'all guess who this guest is? Matter of fact, let me have her say something else again to see if y'all can tell by the voice who this is. Because it is a celebrity, but I'm not going to tell you guys until you guys actually figure it out. So try again. Here we go. Hello again. I am excited to be able to be a part of Modern Renaissance Man's podcast today. Can y'all figure it out? Did y'all get it? Y'all probably didn't. Anyway, I am glad, folks, to have the special guest on here. It is my wife. It is my wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, this is a pilot podcast that we're going to be doing where we be talking about various subjects dealing with marriage, dealing with life, dealing with family, dealing with all kinds of different things. So I'm just doing this as a pilot right now because I know a lot of you guys, I have 70% of my subscribers are men and the other 37% are women. I know women want to hear things from a different person's perspective. So today's subject, babe, what do you think? What do you think we should talk about today? I think we should talk about the pandemic of divorce. Ooh, YouTube, she said pandemic of divorce. She didn't say the pandemic as in COVID-19. She said pandemic of the divorce. So, you know, y'all heard my voice. Y'all heard me talk a lot about stuff and what I feel on certain things. But I'm going to just let my wife kind of roll around into it. So, babe, the pandemic of divorce. Go ahead and tell me what made you think of that? Oh, well, as you know, I am not a social media type of person. And please be patient with me because I don't talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> but um i like to really try to get my point across without being interrupted mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway um i don't do social media and the only reason really why i want to do this podcast on you know marriage and relationships and things that deal with the family is because i think the family right now is in a um, downward spiral and divorces are on a rise and I think it's that to me is a pandemic in itself that is very traumatic to the family unit and so I this is on my heart this has been on my heart for a very long time and now I just want to speak out because I feel like being married for 21 years I think I actually have something to say she paused y'all so apparently she didn't got nothing to say I thought you said you had something to say babe I thought you said you had something to say. Why I you pause, do, babe? I thought you were going to ask me a question and then I come back. No, go right ahead. Go right ahead. What do you, what do you, what do you think? Okay, if, if it was something that you would say would be a number one issue with this pandemic in the marriage, what would you say one of your first things to come to your heart is? I would say that I think that when it comes to marriage, of course, I believe that marriages should be very private with the help of God to figure out whatever issues you are having. But I don't think we should take our marriages, our marriage issues outside of our marriage. And so sometimes when you do that, when you allow other people, media, 
a television shows. I think sometimes that can be very detrimental to a marriage. And so it's, it's just heartbreaking to see so many divorces um, in the world, just in communities, in churches, okay, in churches. You're seeing divorces and a rise in the body of Christ. So we need to deal with this issue. And I've come to the realization with the revelation that I feel like I've gotten from God because I've been praying about this. It's been very hard, hard on my heart. It's just saddening to continue to see every single day that the number one reason why I feel that divorce is on a rise is because of disobedience. Woo! Okay, so uh, you guys been hearing this so far. She got some stuff to say, don't she? See there? Y'all, y'all, y'all thought I was smart and all this stuff like that because of my own, didn't y'all? Y'all didn't know I had a smart wife that was actually giving me all this stuff to say to y'all, did y'all? Y'all didn't know they did y'all. No, but anyway. So, okay, so, oh, babe, if you say that uh, you feel that disobedience is one of the things that actually is leading to these issues within the marriage, when you say disobedience, What does that look like? Like this disobedience that you're talking about within the marriage, what specifically is it that you're referring to? I always use this example with my boys. Yours? Our boys. (laughs) (laughs) And I always say like, if you created a robot to move forward only, period. And it works to the best. I mean, it is doing everything it's supposed to. It's just working properly. Every, the mechanics are there. Everything's going well. You're like, yes, it's moving forward. It's doing exactly what I created it to do. What is going to happen when I try or anybody else try to move this robot backwards? What do you think will happen? It'll fall over. It's going to malfunction. Something is just not going to be right. He said if you only created it to move forward, and somebody tried to make it go backwards, I think that it's going to mess up because it wasn't created to do that. And since the creator created it to move forward, that means the robot has to be obedient to that command. So I and so I'll take that in. And with marriages, God created a marriage to move one way. And that's forward. All right. That's a really good point, babe. And uh, guys, we're getting ready to close this thing out here, babe. It's been really fun having you on here. though. I'm pretty sure that folks going to be definitely thrilled to finally hear your voice and everything on there. So uh, before we move on and finish a lot of these topics out, because there is more to come, ladies and gentlemen, we will be doing some more of these. Do you got anything else you want to say to the audience as some closing words? Um, I appreciate just the opportunity to come on here and just share my thoughts or my feelings on this topic. And so I am looking forward to you know, some more podcasts, sitting down and discussing these issues. Cause I just think at the time we're in today to save our families, we should be having these type of conversations a lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all know how I end all this. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate you guys all listening and y'all know how I close these out. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.